today I'm introducing Morgie and Morgie is known by the community for doing some amazing work and raising £8,000 for a charity for the NHS uh, which he's going to be donating um, a cheque to them and, and all that sort of thing so it's amazing um, and you've been doing this from your living room and with all your community and actually getting people involved in, in a raffle of all things which is really cool. Looks good doesn't it with all that in the background. Um, it was 16 days ago now. Yeah. And um, I started with a bottle of gin and I wanted to raise under a pound. And after that, then, everyone was just knocking my door, with me pulling stuff outside, and it just went from there. I could, I could raffle a dirty pair of pants and people would buy them. Like, I raffled two 80 pound teams, uh, two 80 cards yesterday. That's, um, that's 800 pounds. That's, Five pound a team, and it's 80, 80 teams, so that's 400 pounds. So I done two of them, and then it was about 10 to 11 when I messaged you and I said, I'm not tired, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the February one. So by about 10 past 12, the 80 teams won. That's what's going up next, the Conor McGregor one. That's fabulous. i got to be honest, yeah. that's fabulous. I love I've it. Had, I've had, I've had about 50 messages, so that's, that's more than I sold. <laughs> and you've been imaginative by getting all sorts of cool things that they can actually, uh, you know, if you like, um, donate towards and, and effectively win. And it's an amazing thing. So, I mean, you've been, you've gone quite viral in terms of, um, in terms of um, social media. Everybody knows about it, uh, especially in the, uh, the, the Rhonda community and the communities in general. Um, so you've gotten a bit infamous, uh, haven't you, Morgie? Hi everybody, this is Nicky Piper with a quick message for Steve Morris. Steve, you're doing a fantastic job collecting all of this sporting memorabilia to raffle for the NHS. Keep up the good work and I hope everybody supports you. Cheers. Hey guys, Chief here. Just a big up to Steve Morris, who's selling raffles and raising funds for the NHS. Supporting and contributing to heroes, people saving lives. And who knows, it could be you or one of your loved ones next. We're in times of uncertainty, but what is right is we need to finance these people to continue to help us through, through this horrific, horrific period. God bless you all. Well done, Steve. Keep up the good work. And stay safe, my bro. Kaki did. Hi, guys. This is Lisa Albi with a quick message to my friend Stephen Morris. Just to congratulate him on, on all his hard work and auctioning off sport and memorabilia and raising money for the NHS. You can do your bit by either bidding, bidding on the um, auction prizes or, even more importantly, just staying home and staying safe and easing the pressure off the NHS. Nice one, guys. Hello Stephen, uh, I hope you received my signed photo which was taken of my last goal for Tottenham against Man United in October 1968, also my last game for Tottenham. I hope this helps raise some uh, well-deserved money for NHS in these difficult times. Keep up the good work and I hope the weather in Wales is being kind to you, it's usually raining down there, so stay safe. Um, best wishes, uh, Cliff. Hi, Stephen. Uh, just a quick message to say um, thanks for everything you've been doing uh, with your fundraising and, and raffles for the NHS. Um, I'm sure everyone appreciates your efforts and, and all the money's going to a good cause, so thanks very much and keep going. Big shout out to Stephen Morris for all his hard work raising money for the NHS. Keep up the good work, mate. Good afternoon, everybody. My name's Ian Jumbo Johnson. I'm a cut man for pugilist in the sport of boxing. I want to give a big shout out to my good mate Stephen Morris from Wales. He's a frontline worker himself and he is also doing a memorabilia auction to raise money for the NHS. Stephen, keep up the good work my friend and everybody out there stay safe and take care, look after each other. God bless. Stephen, I just wanted to say congratulations for making such a big effort for the NHS and everybody else involved. I know you've made a big effort for the last couple of days. So well done guys, fantastic effort for raising money for the NHS. Hi guys, Gavin Quinn here. Just a quick message to Steve Morris. Well done bud, you're doing a fantastic job uh, raising money for the NHS. 
uh, such a great, great cause at the moment. Um, they're the ones who's keeping the country float at the, at the minute. Um, they all deserve a massive pay rise after this um, fair play. And obviously all the key workers and the key workers, well done also. Um, so Stephen's raising money for the NHS and he's doing prize giveaways. So I'm going to donate a pair of fight shorts and obviously whoever wins them, I'll sign them to your name um, and get them sent out to you as soon as possible. Um, so yeah, everyone stay safe and stay indoors. Hi everyone, carry up. Uh, shout out to my mate Steve Morris. Uh, you're doing a wonderful job helping out with the NHS. Um, contributing at a time of devastation and outbreak. Uh, for those who have been affected, um, the community spirit back home is, is incredible. Uh, keep up the good work and uh, stay safe, everyone. Hi, guys. Just a quick shout out to uh, Stephen Morris. Great work, mate, to um, raising over £4,000 so far for NHS. Keep up the good work, fella. Yeah, well done. Stay safe, everyone. Hello, all. Uh, Darren Morgan here, uh, former world professional snooker player. Uh, just a quick message, uh, Stephen Morris. Big thank you to him uh, for asking me to do this little video link. Uh, he's raising funds towards the NHS. What a fantastic job they're doing and what a fantastic cause. Well done to Stephen for his efforts. I think over the last three days he's raised about £1,500. He wants to give a big thank you to everybody that's already contributed. He's looking forward to further con contributions. Uh, a big thank you, he wants to say, to people from the Merthyr area, uh, especially too and um, again if you can support please support it it's a fantastic uh, fundraising campaign he's got going on for the NHS what a fantastic job they're doing keep the NHS safe and keep yourself safe thank you and, and you've been known to dress up a little bit at night and look a bit groovy yeah, yeah. yeah so anything after any any raffle goes after nine o'clock, then I'd dress up and all the kids are in bed and do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I do. And we're gonna be I have a lot a of messages. Bit. Um I have a lot of message messages, people asking me will I dress up as this, will I dress up as that? But um <laughs> I, I just say it's after nine o'clock and so you're all right. happy. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I love it. But I always <laughs> check with people to make sure what people are happy with what I'm doing, but everyone messages me they love it and I love it. I think it's great. So it's, it's fantastic. You know, I, I look at it and I think, oh my gosh, they're off again. They're brilliant. So tell me a little <laughs> bit how it got started because you were telling me a little bit about that earlier. So tell me a little yeah. bit how you got into this. Um, and what I literally, I had, I had a bottle of gin in the house and um, I had, I seen a football card and I, it, it wasn't scratched off. It was like from, from the pub before. And um, I just thought, right, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something good. I, I just woke up and I wanted a raffle a bottle of gin. Yes. So um, I done it was a twenty team card. Um, it's two hundred pound. It it, it raises. I uh, know under a pound it raises when it's done. So I just done that, and then literally I had a couple of shops messaging me. Um, the Tommy Box in Trialis, they were saying they were going to donate. Yeah. Um, they do Sunday dinners and they take them to your house and us, so or they donated dinners and that, and that's how it all started. And it's just oh. it just went mental from straight away. Yeah, because you're doing this daily, and tell us yeah. how, how what you're doing with the people and how they how it actually works. Because I mean, obviously, people like to know stuff like that. Yeah, um, I literally I don't go meet anyone. I I, do, I do put on my Facebook what's going up, and um, cause obviously because the world is virus, and I, I don't meet them. They do they do bank transfer me, um, and whoever wins really, we do we do drop it outside the house, knock a door, and then be gone. <laughs> and they know it's all fussy, so look, we're outside, and there's your prize. Brilliant. Yeah, and so... You've been winning some amazing things, like you just showed me <laughs> now. But tell yeah. me a more about what they've been actually winning. And uh, people have won, like, the girl in Price Top, but they're signed. Brilliant. Um, Joe Carr's Aggie Glove signed. It's all, it's, all, it's all in nice frames, as you can see. Anthony yeah. Joshua one, which is up now. Um, you got a Ronaldo top. Um, Anthony Joshua shorts, so got a bit of everything really. Let's start off as these, um, these have come in. See, um, I tell you what, me, Lee, Lee Selby, I think, he, um, 
he, he, he done a video message, message for me and he like put it on Instagram and then I was having loads of messages. So Lee's, Lee's helped me out a lot. Um, um, Gavin Gwynn, Gavin Gwynn gave me one of his um, signed shorts, what he wore. Um, and because, he, because he's from the same village as me, that, that went nuts and everyone wanted that. Um, everyone was donating drinks to me and I, I've had some lovely stuff. As I said, the Tommy Box and Triadis. Um, the big one, I raised a lot of money as well. Um, my friend, I've got Reese, Reese Caravans and Housey. They've got um, a caravan down in Penconuck. Um, so they, they said, right, we're going to give you to raffle a weekend away down our caravan when the virus goes. That's brilliant. So I think that was like my first 80, 80 card team. And that, that brought 400 pounds in. And um, recent, when the Calzaghi Club Friday, which went for four hundred pounds. He won there, and he said, "Right, donate it back in, put it back in off off the caravan, people." And um, I sold that again yesterday, so that raised another four hundred pounds. So they, they've they've helped me with it, done a pound for it. That's amazing. So, and and getting people like Lee and Gavin, who are obviously in our neck of the woods, are yeah. pretty famous people. Especially, especially Gavin, you know, like, it's yeah. it's really difficult for Gavin because he had a fight coming up. Um, He's out to work because of all this. He's not getting paid, and he's 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 still helping us out. Like it's 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 mad. It's like whatever I ask him, he helps. Brilliant. Because what we've got, and I'm talking colloquially, is in Wales. We got a great community, and definitely. The community is- as far as I understand, it's totally been supporting you, which is fantastic. Yeah. It's one of the things I love about Wales being, you know, patriotic and all that. But, yeah. um, you know, you're quite a, a well-loved character up there. I know this. Yeah. yeah. Everyone yeah. loves me for, for all this. Um, yeah. And I, I, I've, I've got to put on my Facebook and say, look, because I've had loads of people wanting to buy, and I've had, when people ain't your friend on Facebook, you have message requests, and I don't see the messages sometimes. The one time I had, like... I had like 90 odd messages and I had like 90 odd friend requests and I was like, oh my God, what's going on? <laughs> that's <laughs> First what happens ever when, happened to me. That's what happens when you have Lee Selby and oh, Gavin no. on your side. Eh? I don't know well, if I'm, I don't know if people actually want the prizes or people actually want to see me dressing up. I don't know. I think, I think they want to see you dressing up. So what's uh, up, what inspired you to dress up? You've had little dresses on. You've I, don't had know, um, and, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I, I, I just I just done a draw and the one time and then the one time I just done a draw and I had I had Ailey's um yeah I, I, I just seen one of Ailey's dresses on on the on the um bed and I said right I'm just gonna dress up I'm just gonna dress up like Arno <laughs> and then the other time I had a I had a bikini and a bra on um, it, was, it was a pink one which I sent to a photo yeah, and I just wrote, I wrote in felt pen and your chest over me. I love it. I love it. So, you know, you obviously you've inspired a bunch of people to um, to do something like this. And a lot of people don't have the courage to, uh, to actually yeah, um, get this amount of money together. And, and to be honest, um, on a weekend, I was going to stop. But I, I've had God knows how many messages saying, right, the NHS are always going to need the money. Why are you stopping when everyone is still buying so much off you? That's true. So, I thought, in the end, I thought the easiest way around it to make the money now is like all these items. I'm I'm buying out of the money. Say say I'm paying six hundred pound for three things. And them them three things end up are bringing twelve hundred pound in. So it's, it's, the six hundred pound goes back in, and then the six hundred pound um, gained for the NHS fund. So. Um, um. I don't know when it's going to stop, to be honest. Um, 10 grand, 15 grand. I think only only now the people like the NHS and people like um, support workers like myself, only now we are actually getting the, res- uh, the respect we deserve. I agree with that. I yeah. agree with that. Because back in the day, you know, when I was in, I was in nursing and things, you don't. And you're doing all the no. things and people don't know. They don't know anything about it. I think it's an amazing thing. I think what you're doing, and, and I know Hayley and your family are supporting you. And that's your yeah. wife. Um, and she's been working hard with the phone and uh, organising yes. everything as well. Um, I'm so, in work and I'm like, I'm saying, I, I say before I go work, right, hey, when I go home now, you've got to make sure it's a raffle card there waiting for me. You've got to put um, the bikini 
or the mankini, whatever. <laughs> me, and I literally come home. I have my food. I love, I love, I love a glass of pop, and then I'm straight on to the raffle. Yes, yeah, brilliant. Um, yes. But I'm, I'm literally thinking to myself, why stop now when everyone is at it? I agree with but you. But I think, you know, like everyone who's working now, they, mm -hmm. they are people are probably getting more money now because they can't go out and spend it. They're all, if the people who ain't in work, they're having like 80% pay. Um, a lot of a lot of companies do, do pay the 20%, so they're having full pay and they can't go for meals, they can't go for a drink, so ah, um, they're just trying to win some lovely prizes. These, these prizes are worth a lot of money. They are worth a lot of money, like signed Anthony Joshua stuff, and all these come with um, come with COAs to prove they're real. They 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 from a proper dealer, um, they from a proper shop. Like you know, it's all it's all good stuff. It, it's no, as you can see, there's no. I did fantastic. I know a bit about boxing because my son's really into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. A lot of photography and media for these people, and yeah. and he, he was telling me they're fabulous. You know, uh, yeah. absolutely fabulous. And and you know, I know you're a big boxing fan anyway. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, uh, I love it. I know. I can't blame you. But you know, you what you're doing is grand. I mean, you've got amazing stuff going on. Now you're obviously your community's pulled together, even though you're all separate. Yeah, you're all working yeah. Together. Yeah. Feel like on the internet which is yeah. an amazing message because in these times we've got everybody joining together and you're all working together and that's yeah 100 percent yeah i um, think it's mad it's mad i think it proves that the community is so important i think that's what we've got out of this situation as well because yeah, I, I think i think a lot of places in the valleys always get like a bad name but when 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 the chips are down around the valleys, everyone sticks together. I'd agree it's with such that. Such a good, it's such a good community. You, you don't see, you don't see many communities then it, um, raising all thousands of pounds um, in such, such a so, such a short, 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 short space of time. Um, and everyone, everyone who's buying these teams and are off me, I know them all. I know it's it's like everyone is from this area. That's brilliant. And so, yeah. how, many, how many games are you running a day on average? Do you... um, sometimes, sometimes I do. Um, when I was doing the the smaller prizes, if it was like I've had like bottles of gin or meals donated, and I I'd usually do like a twenty team card or a forty team card. But all the better stuff goes on an eighty card, so that that raises four hundred pounds. That's amazing. Yeah, I got so um, it's amazing. Yeah, and, and, and I, I actually proud of you. I think it's fabulous what you're doing. Yeah. Um, I, I wanted to, to do this with you because I, I was aware of it in the community. Yeah, and I think that um, that I wanted this message to be part of getting out there to see as you know, if you're like an unsung hero, because people yeah. see this whole point. Oh, um, <laughs> and I think that you know the prizes are quality. The people, the community is amazing. Yeah. Um, I think the banding together of everybody is extraordinary. You've got famous people, you know, got a little bit of, of cool kudos, and you've got the community and yeah. everything between all working together. Um, you've got your family working in there, which is yeah. amazing. As a bonded group, it's, it's extraordinary. I do want, I do want the credit, all the credit. It's everyone, everyone, everyone's the, the community, the people putting the money in, and without. Without people donating things and putting transferring money to my bank all the time, then I won't be able to raise all this money. So that's right. I totally agree. It's, um, it's a team game. It's absolutely true. Everyone, everyone's been amazing. Fair play, but.